Put cup. some away. Big dumb cop. Watch it. Watch it. Have you ever met a girl? Do you want to date? What? Two years to make love. She wanted you to wait. Jesus Christ. Let me just sit you down there and tell you about my situation. Were you talking to this girl from the U.S. nation? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I was. Honey. Did she have nine ten pants and a very big bra? I think so. Kayla doesn't know the song, I guess. That's a good sweater, yeah. babe. That's a solid sweater. I like it. It's very nice. I was Is that seriously a target so, find? Yes, and I was so surprised. What? I, that's what I said. Not a sponsor. I like I went to go adjust it and my thumb like Yet. I was like, oh it's got thumb holes. Could be you. Could be you. It's got thumb holes. Sweater thumb holes are like... And it has pockets. Cat's meow. Oh, no, it has one pocket. <gasps> All I the way through? It, I thought it was two pockets. It's a hole. So it's basically a hoodie with a... Pocket. It's a pullover sweatshirt with a zipper. Yeah. Red. I like it. Red. All right. Mind your business, sir. Mind we, your business. We ready? No. Let me just... <sighs> Lion face. Lemon face. Three, two, one, and we're recording. I almost played the wrong one. Wangs. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Oh yeah. Welcome back to the gentleman's den. Kayla, Jeff, and Sean back in the den on a very special holiday. No one talks about much because it's a local holiday. Every March 22nd. Mm. The best holiday. It's Kayla's birthday today. Meow. <sighs> Hold on one more time. It's Kayla's birthday today. Honey. Thank you. Thank you. Honey. <laughs> Kayla, finally legal. Yep. Oh. <laughs> yeah, baby. Jeff, <laughs> I can remember the day when Jeff just picked her up from grade school. <laughs> that's so, that's yeah. so bad. In his IROC Z with his mullet flowing in the breeze. <laughs> My jean jacket. <laughs> and his Ario Speedwagon t shirt. Cum stains. Remember? You're like, I can wash those out. I said, that's a real woman. Remember you had all those scrunchies on your gear shifter, <laughs> taking them as souvenirs. Uh, well, yeah, Kayla, you've you've truly grown. You're a beautiful woman. Oh, thanks, babe. So sweet. So sweet. Oh, welcome yeah. back, Chew. Oh. Damn it. My lord. As we start recording, these cats. As soon just... as we press record, these cats come out of the woodwork. Here, check out. Hey, YouTube, check out a high asshole. Oh God. It's not your birthday, Chewy. <laughs> you have your time. It doesn't need to be you all the time, Chewy. What's about Chewy? What's up? How's everyone's week? Good. Great. Sean's been on vacay. We did a lot of uh, running around this week. We did. Because we're having uh, my lady's birthday fiesta tomorrow. So, the only problem I had was not finding a jacket in my size. So I will be going through the closet of suits of former Halloween's past to find a jacket. And I think I know what one I'm going to wear. And it's, That's okay. And it's I, not, not one that you guys have seen yet. Okay. We'll allow it. You'll allow that one? You were with me. I couldn't find fucking so shit. We always throw a fun theme party for my lady's birthday. Last year was the scene party. That was Damn it. a great time. And this year is going to be... Uh, Thrift store prom. You might want to move your keyboard. What? And the cat, maybe. We need like a cat cage for when we do the podcast. Oh, just stick like, these bastards in. Yeah, just a in. cage at, over there. Oh, like <laughs> in Roadhouse, the chicken wire. Yes. 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 <laughs> the chicken, exactly we're, we're that. Gonna, that's what we need. We're going to set up the chicken wire. Because this is just. Thrift store prom. My lady's got a beautiful dress. I'm so excited. I really still don't know which one I'm going to wear. 
Oh, did you get multiple? So when the first day we went, I got two, and I was so excited for the one. And it was my size, oh, so I was yeah, like, top notch. I was like, this is going to be perfect. So I get it on, and it zips to like right here. Oh. And it won't zip any further. I'm like, damn it. So then the other one I put on, and I was like, all right, whatever, like it'll work. Um, but I was like, I just don't know. So then I went out and I got another one. And then another one. So and another one. DJ <laughs> Khaled. <clears throat> yeah, so Milady, full disclosure, never been to prom. Nope. So I wanted to have a prom party, her first prom at thirty two. And uh Wow. Wow. Just throw it out there. Let everybody know. They know. You're young and spry. At sixteen. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> Damn it, Chewy. I love you. Yeah, but I didn't want everyone to break the bank, so I was like, let's do fucking thrift store. Well plus like thrift how fun prom. is that? Like for grown ass adults to put on actual like prom, prom outfits, outfits yeah. right? Yeah, like, it's called a out. wedding. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> yeah. What's the first time you get super dressed up for anything is what homecoming slash prom or a fucking school dance or something as a young yeah. lad or lady. Yeah. And then the next sure. time you do it is either a funeral or a fucking wedding. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I'm excited to see everybody's outfits tomorrow. I'm pumped. I'm ready. Let's super go. excited. Let's go. Mine is way too close to shit. I wear. I was hoping that we would have fucking hit gold or something. Yeah. I was hoping for more like obscure I was hoping for a lot I of plaid. I didn't really see too much. Well, I feel like you guys probably could have gone to, like, like, you guys went to Goodwill. You need to go to, like, Salvation Army. Or there's that spot in Antioch. Downtown Antioch. It's that thrift store. Yeah, but the problem with thrift, everything's fucking marked way up. Goodwill, I know I'm spending it's not, no, that's 14 store, bucks. That's, that's like, we got a shirt, bad. and I was like, well, should I get this shirt? And I'm like, it's $6. Like, fuck it. Just get it. Yeah. Because eventually you'll use it for something else anyway. Oh, daddy uses it. Like the shirt I bought, honestly, I'm probably going to end up wearing it as a work shirt. Mm -hmm. There you go. Perfect. It's hey, nice. I think three dresses, I spent like 25 bucks. <sighs> Man. I know, I broke the bank for them. I didn't get shoes because, once again, Either I. I am a large fucking human being. <laughs> Finding a fourteen at a thrift Finding store. Finding a fourteen. At, I mean, I got the closest I got was like a thirteen, and those are nice though. Them blues. Those are top notch. They were way too thin though. I don't think my feet would have gotten them bitches. So I would be cutting the toes so out, wearing the sandals. Neanderthal feet. I figure, like, I'm just gonna throw some slippers on, you know. Well, your dress is gonna <laughs> somewhat. Slippers. It should be long enough yeah. to cover, right? Well, it depends on which one I wear. So the one options. has a single exposed leg. Lady. Honestly, oh. I was going to, if there's a dress in fat person size, I was going to grab a dress and just wear shut a dress. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I was. Yeah, the bearded lady. Oh, yeah. shut up. You can't even find shoes in your size. You're going to yeah. wear a dress? I'm going out tomorrow and I'm finding you If a you find me a dress, dress, I'll wear a dress. Oh, can we? You heard it, folks. We're, we're going to the thrift store tomorrow. It's gonna have to be a big like bitch. To, no. I'm just saying, you have to fight a six foot four, fucking fifty two inch wide. No, they're out there. Yeah, I, I really know. We live like in Wisconsin. That blue dress. I bet that blue. What dress. did Brock Lesnar's daughter go to prom in? I'm sure, that shit's laying around. <gasps> Jeffrey. What? No. She, have you seen her? She's no. She's a large human being. <laughs> she's ripped. Huge. She, she's set like. F were they world records for the fucking? Oh, shot I don't know. Hood? Should be. Damn. She's throwing shot puts like fucking farther than dudes. Shout out to her. That's crazy. And the only problem is she looks exactly like her dad. Oh. So my guess. I feel that pain. Unless you're into that. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Well, no. No, no. She, she really looks like her dad. Like even the haircut. Oh. <laughs> I still am very determined to one day dress up just like my dad. Get one of the bald caps. Yes, yes. Maybe his next birthday we should just all Tony it up. Yeah, I think so. I, I think go. that would be hilarious. I mean, I'm down. I would Let's love do it. it. I and I don't think we should do it. I, I we're talking about it like he's going to actually listen to this. I don't think we should do it on his birthday. 
Like, just I think it should it. just be a day just a that we day. know he's going to be at the shop. And, like, everybody oh, just, just show, show up, up. Dressed like Tony. Looking like Tony. Okay. I'm in. Well, we all need to get red line shirts then. Well, you guys already got a bunch, I'm sure. I need to get a red line yeah, shirt I got then. a hoodie I can throw on. Let's go. I'm in. In some, in some mom jeans, a.k.a. dad oh. jeans. You think you think I can borrow some dad shoes? I think we can what, go to Goodwill and get you. Jesus sandals. Oh, I got that. <laughs> some Birkenstocks? Yeah, for sure. Get a button-down sure. shirt. The, I got a pair of the cargo shorts that he has, actually, because we both shop at Walmart. <laughs> Look at you guys go. All I'll do is just shave this part and let the fucking crown grow. Yeah, you're going to need to get the cold sack. He's rocking it, man. Hey, Amen. That you gotta like that. Now. You gotta, you it's gotta get it. rough now. The, I think the uh, the look of the beard is officially a hundred percent back with every dude that can grow one. I always think it's weird when dudes don't have beards or some facial hair. Look like they're going to court. Yeah, like I mean, I don't like just mustaches; those creep me out. But it's because they're cops. Oh my god! <laughs> That's it. I ain't no snitch. Well, that's it. <laughs> I know your game, <laughs> sir. I nice sir. Uh-oh. Excuse me, do you have any cocaine? Sure. Nice mustache. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, cop. Do I? <laughs> I don't know. Why don't you go to the precinct and look into the evidence locker? You might find something there. Yeah, I don't know. It's just something about guys with no facial hair. It just kind of wigs me out. I don't like it. Yeah? Yeah. Huh. Clean shaven is a thing of the past, but you know what that yeah. means? It's going to come back around where mm. some celebrity is going to shave his beard off and everybody's going to be like, no. fresh face is the way to go. And I'm going to be like, fuck you. No, it ain't. Yeah. Don't even get any ideas. Killa, this has got to go no. sometime, some way. It doesn't. It has to. Why? Because I'm just over it. You shave your beard. You shave your face. I'm going to shave my fucking head. Yeah. <laughs> and then you're going to have to walk around with me. Bald headed. I'd love your bald headed. Kiss you it would, every night. You would not. Yes, and, I would. And you know what else is going to happen? All the people are going to be like, look at how strong her husband is. Standing next to her while she's going through this battle. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh. Yeah. I'm going to have to shave okay. my head too. Yeah. Oh, no. Solidarity. Because I would do that for you. Because I'm Solidarity. Like type of man. No. <laughs> no. Anyway, Sean and I watch Roadhouse. <laughs> the new Roadhouse. The new Roadhouse. Well, I watched the old one first. Just to get a little taste. I was very sad there was no throat rips in this one. It could have had at least one home homage back to the original. Yeah, there was... Uh... I like I told you before. I don't understand how CGI has gotten worse. Like oh. how much money was spent on that movie? The CGI was f- even the fight scenes. I was like, Rocky looks better than this, and that was made in the seventies. The cameras were moving too fast. It was horrible. The story wasn't bad. Jake Gyllenhaal's acting wasn't bad. Conor McGregor was like turned up to 11. I don't know if he was supposed to be Irish in the movie or he was supposed to be something else. Probably Irish, but I, I yeah, he just like every, it seemed like before every time he was going to go out to do a take, he just snorted a bunch of Coke. That and let's go. <laughs> how bad they covered up his tattoos. Yeah. Like the, McGregor rocker across his gut. It just said Knox, 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 Knox. I didn't even notice that. I was doing homework sitting on the couch. She's like, What are you I was watching? Like, what the hell are you watching? Roadhouse. And then they put a giant, like, weird cross thing on his back mm-hmm. over his other tattoo he has down his spine. Now I need to watch it. And then they got rid of the gorilla on his chest and had some. I don't else understand on there. why they have to ruin, like, classic movies. Like, just call it something else. Call it something else, and I might not be as mad. But then I, now I'm like, okay, this is Roadhouse, right? 
So now I'm going off the original movie. And then when it sucks, I'm like, why did you do that? It probably would have been a fun movie. It might have been if I never saw Patrick Swayze rip someone's throat out. Right. The guy literally told him he used to fuck guys like you in prison. That shit's wild. When you when we did a shot the other day and you lifted your glass and said to big titties, big titties and, and monster, monster trucks, trucks, literally that is the first roadhouse. Yeah. It is big titties and monster trucks. Yeah. There's no tits and there's no monster trucks in the new one. I'm out. I'm sorry. If it was Shark Tank and someone showed me that movie, I'm out. And, and also... Um, no, thank you. No deal. The car was a main point of the original Roadhouse. The runner? Yeah. <laughs> or are you talking about their Mercedes? No, no, the runner. It's a runner. Yeah, that was like a key point of the movie. Yeah. Why the fuck did he buy a car? He didn't have a car. He took the bus. And then yeah, he well, he, he had a car. Didn't he have a car? And, and they, the new one that got wrecked ish yeah the one that got hit by the train at the yeah. beginning of the movie yeah because he was gonna kill himself and he was like nope which way to kind of bury that story throughout the whole fucking movie you don't know what happened why is he fighting in these underground why is he fighting a fat post malone so i was <laughs> like all about i thought because the original they had patrick swayze and then sam elliott was like the old guard yeah. So I, 100%, the whole time I was like, Post Malone's going to come and, like, help him. Like, he's going to call him. And yeah. Post Malone just never came back. He just had his tits out. Post, post that was like. Fighting guys. That was Posty before he uh, got in shape. Before he was skinny Posty. Yeah. And also, Post Malone in a fist fight. I don't see that. Is that why they needed the CGI? Yeah. <laughs> At, at first, when I first saw him, I'm like, who the f dude, who they got fighting at the beginning? Then I'm like, oh, that's Post Malone. That dude can't fight. That dude has never thrown a fucking punch in his life. He doesn't have to. He's no. White Iverson. Yeah, but guess what? You're in a movie about fighting, and you're a fighter. Maybe you should take a couple classes. Well, that's the thing. That's It's like, let's just find someone popular and just throw them in here. Like, okay, is that how you make a movie? No, yeah. Seems like it. I would have rather seen 90-year-old Terry Funk in the beginning of the movie beating the shit. Something. Shot. Post Malone. Yeah, that was that was a rough really look for Posty. So. No? Hey, yeah. whatever. Shout out. You know, do you. It was a rough he look for Posty. It. But he's got another movie credit. Ooh. Yeah. Because he was in Spencer Confidential as well. What else was he in? He was in something else that sucked. <laughs> Three for three. It's like when they're in jail. That was Spencer. Spencer oh, was Confidential. Confidential yeah. yeah. Was it? Yeah. Where he stab where he stabs him with the He's probably in another one where he's in jail because he has prison tats. I don't remember that, but I don't remember the name. Now I feel like I need to look it up. It was Spencer Confidential, because it's Spencer Confidential is a takeoff of the old eighties TV show Spencer for Hire. He's oh. definitely in jail with Mark Wahlberg. Yes. Maybe that out. is it. To they're, the funky they're, I don't remember it. You they're, called that, but what I, I don't know. They're in the library, and then gotcha, Spence, and he's got the fucking shank in his shoulder. Yeah, I don't know. Yep. Just stick to music. I don't know what are we doing here. I mean, Action Bronson was awesome in King of Staten Island. Was he though? Where he got stabbed, and he's like, I, I didn't see that one. You haven't it watched good King of Staten Island is actually really good. Yeah, I haven't seen that one yet. That's worth the watch. That's uh, Pete Davidson, right? Yes, sir. Pete Davidson, Bill, Bill Burr. Burr, and Marissa Tomei. Ooh, say no more. I'm in. And it's it's funny. It's got its, it's got its moments, but the action Bronson scene's hilarious. It's like I cut myself shaving. He's got a giant gaping gut wound where he got stabbed <laughs> by somebody. <laughs> <laughs> he's just he's good. He's like, oh, my God, someone's standing. He goes, no, no, I fell down on a stick. <laughs> he, like, changes the story seven times. <laughs> I like it. What about you, babe? Anything, uh, you seen anything that's tickled your fancy? Movie-wise? Yeah. Show-wise, movie-wise. Show-wise, movie-wise. I haven't really been We've watching been watching uh, too much. Masters of the Air, right? Yes, yeah, I do like that. With your boy? 
Yeah, I don't, there's something about him. He's like the new hotness. Tiff, t- t- Timothy Chalamet, or is no, it? the guy who played it's Butler, the he guy played who Elvis played Elvis in the new Elvis. Movie. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't he? He's like the new fucking. He's not the new crow. No, that's it. The guy who was in it is the new crow. Sarsgaard. Yeah. I don't know something about him. Like I don't melt over him when I oh, see him. Bad. Like putty in my hands. No. I'm trying to think what other movies he was in because he was in a couple of good movies. He's good looking. I don't know. The I think Butler it's like dude? his voice, and maybe it's because like the first time I feel like I ever really like saw him. I guess I know he played another shit, but like first time I was ever Elvis? really saw him was Elvis, and I think he. I didn't grow up obviously in the Elvis era, but I feel like he did a damn good job playing Elvis. Did he get fat at the end? And no, they no. they cut it out early. No, he what? Didn't. Yeah, they don't go like full through his whole life, don't they? They like, no, they. I mean, they went. Did he die in the toilet? Pretty damn far. The new Priscilla movie, yeah, or show. It's a movie. Movie. Um, they don't go through the whole thing because I was very disappointed. They just go through their their marriage, right? And, and then it pretty much cuts off after they get a divorce. Yeah. Okay. Wasn't she fourteen when they first met? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, at least it wasn't Jerry Lee Lewis marrying his 12-year-old cousin. <laughs> That's weird. Great balls of fire. She was fucked up back then, bro. Yeah. But I don't know. Well, that's whatever. one of my favorite lines in uh, Million Ways to Die in the West, where they're having the argument, like, you, you're married to Clinch? And she's like, I didn't want to be one of those 14-year-old spinsters. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> she's like, I got married at nine. Yeah. You don't oh. want to be left out. Oh, and he waited till you were 10 till you had sex? Well, nine and a half. I just rounded up. Oh. <laughs> this, is bring, this is bringing me back to a dark conversation we had Wednesday about uh, that stupid movie. Oh, yeah. The, uh, With baby brains. Oh, no. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Yeah, was that poor things? What? How yeah. is it a spoiler? She like I I guess I don't understand because like, people you don't know from watching the movie what the fuck is going on. Like I said, well, very I feel uncomfortable. Like people should be warned. You should watch it and decide for yourself what you think about it. But so Jeff, I, I'll never watch this movie because I have a firm belief that most Oscar winning movies are giant piles of shit. I still Unless have it's like yet, for special effects, but yeah. for best picture, I still have yet to figure out. I have not looked up what qualifies them to win an oscar you have to sign up for it you have to be part of the illuminati oh okay well and then you have to be chosen yes mm. but that's how millie vanilli got caught no they got caught because their tape skipped when well, they no were... but like no but everybody pretty much knew but didn't say anything but then they won an oscar and they they won like, a grammy sir grammy i'm sorry yes <laughs> they won a grammy and they, then everyone's like, all right, enough of this shit. Well, but Grammys also went by album sales. Yeah, but they weren't up for it. They weren't like. They were they best new artist. Clamoring for them. They were, so best, they had they were to, the best new artist. Like your record label has to like oh, yeah. go you, after you it. Get pushed, you get pushed onto the radio. What it was was they had a group that had great songs, but they were all ugly. And they needed two good looking dudes. And found Rob and Fab, and they looked like each other, so they called them Millie fucking Vanilli, <laughs> and just had them. I just watched a documentary actually, and just really had, good, and just had them yeah. learn dance moves and how to lip sync over the. Fucking... No, they were like, like trained dancers. Yeah, so they're like, they weren't that bad at singing, but they're like, nah, you're not singing. You're just gonna fucking shake your tuchus. Girl, you know it's true. That was so good. We might get copyrighted. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Flag us on all of them. Aww. So, yeah. Anyway, watch at your own risk. Poor things. Yeah, poor things uh, is just another, I said, mm. is just another way of pushing pedophilia. That's all I'm saying. Which sucks because, like, I love Emma Stone. Oh, yeah, she probably didn't. I mean, reading it on paper, oh. I don't know. I don't know how you, you dive have, deep into it. I don't know how they, I, I could have read that and not been like, mm, mm. 
Probably not. So Thanks. you're so you're so. putting a baby brain inside my head, and I'm gonna have a bunch of sex. <laughs> this sounds like a great time. <laughs> yeah, it's That's uncomfortable. Cool. Watch. Yeah. And Try to enjoy it now. It. Now it's just been ruined. So I'll go back and watch not a basketball person. for the three millionth time, and remember when life wasn't as weird. Hell yeah! You know what I just watched? Because. Uh, Obviously, like you just mentioned it, The Crow. I just watched the original, the OG. There's nothing that could... I don't give a fuck if they. this is the greatest written movie ever. There is nothing that will beat that It first. won't be. There is nothing that will beat the original Crow. They had those 12 movies after it with... I don't know who wrote that shit, but it was god-awful. The second one was it City, City of, of Angels? Angels. That didn't look too bad. And then you watched it. And it's a giant right, pile of shit. It. The it's, first one was so... It's just one of those movies. It's so good. And, like, I don't know if they meant it to kind of look like like the special effect. I, I, I'm sure they did. Like, the special effect, like, when they show the town. Mm-hmm. Clearly, it's fake as fuck. But, like, I feel like it's supposed to be. It's, like, well, it's almost, almost like, like a, a comic book. It's almost like Tim Burton Batman. Pretty much, yes. The original, with how the camera shots are. Yeah. The town and the and, city. But it's a little bit grimier. It's like they put a little bit of dirt on it. It, it It's shot like it was dark. Great. If it, you haven't seen the original Crow, Jesus Christ, do yourself a favor, Kayla. No. S- li- I, don't, I don't know. I was like, obviously, I was sitting on the couch, like I said, doing homework. You were watching it. And I just, maybe I just need to pay attention to the whole thing. And I'd like it, but and nothing it's, about it intrigued me when I... Well, once if you know the backstory in the movie, though, too, that's what makes it even more like in, of an incredible movie. Dude, fucking died on the, or got shot on the set. It just and they, makes it depressing. And they and they and the 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 scene where he gets shot is actually in the film. Yeah, that's just depressing. It is. But also, people get shot every day. Shout out. Kenosha, Chicago, Milwaukee, <laughs> Chicago. We're seeing right here. Man, nah. Twin Lakes. Yeah. All right, you might as well cue that sounder up. Oh, you want? It? <laughs> this is fucking depressing. <laughs> <laughs> Saddle up, oh. motherfuckers! This ain't all farting shit jokes. We 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 ask the hard hitting questions. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to watch a movie with a child brain? Of no. a woman that's getting, I was like, I was gonna say no. You, when Ruffalo. you stop at, do you want to watch a movie with a woman who has a baby brain put into her head? Like I, at first, I, I'm like, oh, this sounds, sounds like funny, so stupid, but it could be funny. It could be great. And but then, then I'm you like, lead she has on. Sex. Like with dudes everyone. are trying. Dudes are just banging her left and right. Yeah, it's yeah, weird. It's pretty dark. <laughs> and I it's still want to know: fuck. has anybody checked? The dude that wrote the story, has anybody checked his computer and his house? I don't know, but... Try to relax your anus. Yep. <laughs> There's a lot of those going on. Oh. Anything positive happened this week besides the crow? Uh, That's not the positive. new Ghostbusters came out. Oh, yeah, I'm pumped for that. And my sister just drove past the theater, and there is an actual... Ghostbusters. Ecto-1 one is outside the theater... Shout out Burlington. That was Burlington, wasn't it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. For doing it right. That theater is awesome. That is that is a I like old school theaters. Don't get me wrong. Going to Tinseltown or Imagine is awesome. You get the recliners, you get all that fun shit. Yeah. There's something about a sticky floored theater that <laughs> a is a grimy just, theater for sure. Just you're waiting something for something about your youth, you know. You're waiting for the film to burn and you yeah. get your money back, but nothing's on film anymore it's all digital yeah which is fucking crazy like they basically just here's a dvd put this in (laughs) press play that's so weird do they even have people working upstairs well they have i guess they might they have to have have to right someone's got to be watching you gotta have someone to flip the switch i'm sure they can get one of those 16 year old 16 year old kids walking over there and just pushing a button I don't know. That's hard work. I wonder. Is it? It is digital. They don't use film anymore. I don't think so. I think it's all digital. I don't know, bro. I think they might keep it old school. 
No, there's no one up there changing reels. I want to picture like some 16 year old up there just fucking changing reels, full of acne, just pissed <laughs> just off. Changing at the world. reels. I've watched this movie 37 Dude, times. Fuck these <laughs> Fuck these motherfuckers. Just eating handfuls of popcorn. I can't eat anymore. This popcorns. Oh, yeah. I love movie theater popcorn. It is good. It is a top four snack for me. Yeah, top four. Top four. What's, what's your uh, What's your movie snacks? What's your go to? Like besides popcorn yeah. and a bottle of water. Um, if I go to a movie that has food, I always kind of peruse the menu. So it is crazy now. Like it was just. Popcorn and snacks. Yeah, and now it's like a Na- nachos every now and, and they then. bring it right to your fucking seats. Yeah. I know it's, it's fucking nice. crazy. Or they'll bring it to a seat where you're supposed to be sitting, and someone else will get your food and eat it. What? I've seen that happen before. That's bullshit. Oh hell no! I'd be like, that's my corn dog, bitch. That's my chicken wrap. <laughs> <laughs> Those is fighting. Don't take my food. Movie theater wise, no, nah, it's popcorn's number one, easy. Popcorn's number one, followed by uh, Raisinets mm. or Snow Caps. Yeah, okay. Snow Caps is good. Ooh. I don't think I've ever eaten Snow Caps outside of a movie theater. No. I don't. <laughs> I think they think only sell them. them in movie theaters. Oh, all they are are just chocolate chips with uh, white sprinkles on top of them. Yeah. It's just sugar on top of sugar with some more sugar. Damn it, Mama. That's all it is. Grab your drink. Oh my god, these cats. Thick girl. <laughs> mama cupcake. Okay, come on. Ready, mama? Oh shit. Oh Jesus oh, Christ. Shit. This, this pussy's got claws. What the hell are we doing around here? I'm trying. Oh, you bitch. <sighs> She's got to get her camera time. Oh. Look at her. That wasn't even nice. Stranger mean stuff. Bitch. This is bullshit. So you guys are all movie popcorn number one on the movie snack yeah. list. That's pretty much all I get. I don't get snacks at the theater. Popcorn every, sour patch kids. Every now and then I'll get uh red vines if they have them. I don't know. I, I'm a big I like red vines over Twizzlers. Yeah. I don't know. I I have a affinity I I've for I had a red vine. I'm not a Twizzler fan, though. Yeah, I don't really like... Licorice? Twizz- yeah, Twizzlers. I like those nice, uh, I those sweet tart ropes. Mm. Those are good. Those you are like good. the rope, huh? Twizzlers, vines, ropes. Yeah. <laughs> You're just some kinky shit. <laughs> what the fuck is going on in the back of that theater? <laughs> Me Here, enjoying buddy. popcorn and candy. I got candy. you some chocolate handcuffs. <laughs> Eat your way out of this. <laughs> oh, my God. Put this jawbreaker fucking gag ball in your mouth. <laughs> that reminds me of, like, Spencer's. When you used to walk in there, like, the candy fucking underwear that they just have, like, you know, in the box just hanging there for oh. all the children to see. Yeah, if you... Let your oh. young children walk around Spencer's. You got to keep them towards the front of the building. I don't even think that's safe anymore. No, it's not. Because the back always had all the weird shit. Right. Now it's everywhere. Yeah. Now you walk in, they got strap ons hanging from the ceiling. <laughs> it's like a fucking sex dungeon in there. Oh, my Lord. It is so strange. Edible underwear. That's a weird, that's a weird one. It is. Like, who the hell? Like, Why? You know, I I think so. Like I, after you're done eating the crotch out, do you like just make her sit there while you eat the rest of it? <laughs> no, you oh. share. Oh, <laughs> Here, this was in your ass crack. Why don't you Hold give on. it a bite? Like, right, like oh. Yeah, but okay. Oh. You're not wearing the edible underwear like all night. You're not like going out to dinner on this date wearing fucking strawberry. Yeah, t- otherwise edible. it's gonna be melted to your asshole. Yeah. You're gonna be- <laughs> You're going to be <laughs> okay, but it stuck together. But it doesn't even matter. Like you go to the bathroom and then you walk out. Right, but it's still going in your ass crack. And then you're like, eat me. It's still going in your ass crack. You know people just put their tongue in there. That's disgusting. <laughs> yeah, that's disgusting. 
Why? I need to know why there's cock worried, sweaters. Po- at least I want a little strawberry flavoring with my I need my to know why butthole. there's cock sweaters and why people are eating ass. Because I don't understand any of it. Because it's the new age, huh? No, you gotta be disgusting. You gotta be fresh. No. Because typical regular sex is boring. You gotta spice it up. So munch that butt. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, gross. So gross. I th- yeah. I, I, yeah. I don't know about eating ass. <laughs> the face. I, I didn't know where you were going to go with this because your face. You, you, you As a man, I don't even want. You know the shit I just took upstairs. I feel like this is going to be a weekly thing on this podcast. Yes, I took another shit for this oh, podcast. Weird. And weird. guess what? If you were to say, I'm going to eat your ass, I, I would gross. say, no, no, you are not. It's gross. We were having this conversation in the car. <laughs> Bro, I know what I do to toilets. I, I know what's going on back there. No. 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 I don't care if I just showered. I, I couldn't scrub hard enough. I don't care it's if hairy. I don't care it's if good. I just got a colonostomy <laughs> and I've been I haven't been cleaner in my life. No, Man, go in the comments below, you know, go ahead and tell us why you love eating ass. Besides, <laughs> it's just the thing to do. Well, I mean, seriously, who enjoys it? The person getting their no. ass eaten, maybe. Oh, I don't. I don't, under- <laughs> I don't understand that either. However, I am more judgmental of the person eating ass. Yeah. Of course. Like why? Yeah. But think of the joy of that person that's getting their ass eaten. Does it outweigh? I don't care if that was your favorite thing in the world, honey. I love you, but I would never lick your asshole. No, like you, I just said. Do you go clockwise or do you go <laughs> counterclockwise? I don't, I don't know. It's not something I ever want to figure out. I wouldn't do that to you. <laughs> <laughs> I would never Sour do house. that to you. Ugh. I mean... Ugh. It is her birthday. You'd never kiss me on the mouth again. Nope. If you ate my ass. I'm just putting that out there. Nope. Yeah, that was in the wedding vows, wasn't it? Yeah. I vowed never to eat yep. your ass, even if you asked nicely. Said, pretty sure and I we... said I pinky promise. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no that way is a eaten. dirty trash panda. Ugh. <laughs> no way. Ooh. Oh, boy. From eating ass to answering the internet. We're already there. Oh, oh. No, I mean, we're at 30. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, fuck it. Let's, Let's do go. One. Who's going first? Ladies first. Yes. Ladies oh, first. Go ahead, Sean. Just <laughs> I like that you looked at him. No, it's, it's all right. I'm all right with it. Sean looks like a big softball playing lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> they have thicker beards. <laughs> That's true. That's true. I can't um, wait for Sean to transition to just dominate. <laughs> 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 Strong y- woman. YMCA fucking basketball oh, league. He's just, oh, just down <laughs> in the post. Just ball, ball, <laughs> ball. <laughs> throw it, ball. Bow, throw it bows like Barkley in '86. Oh shit! If you could be homeless in any city, ooh, where would you choose? California. Any That's city? A state. Any Los city. Angeles. <laughs> Why Los Angeles? Because it never fucking rains. Bullshit. It's been raining there for like the last three <laughs> months. How dare you? There's always a drought. Mm. You can't even use your garden hose. But then how do you get water? You're homeless. How are you getting water? What? How are you getting water? I don't need water. You need water. I just water. need as it a, to not rain. As a human being, you need water. How are you getting water? Oh, I'll, I'll suck it out of someone's ass. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, Vegas. Gross. I... Would die, and I'll tell you why. What's Sin City. I would I'll, fucking I'll, I'll die. T- I'll tell you why Vegas, because there's always you'd be blowing guys for quarters a within a month. There, there's always the circle, <laughs> but there's also always oh, the chance no, you do this. you take a handful of change and go in there and throw it in a slot machine and win yourself some money. Except there's a reason that they all still live there and are homeless. Yeah, because they're drug addicts. Sean, I feel like I. Or crazy. I like I'm very strong and not like I'm like I would never become a drug addict, right? But if I became homeless in How'd you in go homeless? Las Vegas. Or yeah, lived in Las Vegas. I need a backstory. I'd become a fucking alcoholic drug addict. Where would I'd you be dead. homeless? All right, yeah, yeah. What city would you be Where homeless? Where would in? I be homeless? I want to be somewhere warm, but not too warm. 
I don't know. I've never thought about no, where I'd be homeless. Right to Texas. Maybe. Maybe I'll Texas that is gonna guy ship you right the fuck out. <gasps> yeah, you'll be in New York in no time. Yeah, <laughs> you, you're buses. you're on a bus to. That's not true. Oregon, unless, or they're sending you right to Austin. What? There were plenty of homeless people. We saw plenty down there. Oh sure, babe. I'd live on the beach for sure. Probably yeah. Probably in Texas. Okay. I'd uh -oh. live on the beach. Maybe homeless in Hawaii wouldn't be so bad either. Oh, you gotta get there first. Yeah, I'm just I'm shooting for paradise. You know what I'm saying? If I'm gonna be homeless, it's I'd be homeless on the beach. I wouldn't be fucking in Chicago. I'll tell you that. No, no, win no. no winters. No. Nope. Next question. All right, you go and you want me to go. You go. Okay. That ding was perfect. I know. I'm sorry. This is stupid. Shh. All right. Would you rather? <laughs> it's, what is going it's on? It's the family. Would you rather have one giant dick for an arm or have all your fingers be dicks? What is with you and dick What's arm up, slash like, What is up with answer the she internet? she doesn't have one, so yeah. she's very fascinated by I'm the intrigued. penis. A giant cock arm or cock fingers? This all fingers. On, on all fingers. Give me, oh, one, yeah. give me one arm and it's all cock. No. What? I know. I think that having... Two all handfuls of just dicks would yeah. be hilarious because it reminds me of hot dog fingers. Yes. <laughs> yeah, but once again, you're going to have to get your fingers hard to pick up something. It doesn't say that. Maybe they're hard at all times. Or just enough that you can grab things. You just put a fucking Megatron. Just fucking... one fucking... <laughs> <laughs> one death <What> sickle. <laughs> one death sickle. Yeah, but it doesn't... And... Oh, no, it does. One giant dick for an arm. So it is right. a giant dick. Yeah, give me the giant dick arm. But what can you, you can't really do much with that. At least if all your hands, if you have all your fingers and they're all dicks, you can still grab things. You can still eat things, right? If they're hard. You have a regular hand. You only have one arm that's a giant dick. The other arm's fine. But what if it's your non, like what if your dominant hand was a giant So when I jerk arm? off, I'm going to jerk myself off with five dicks? <laughs> That sounds funny. <laughs> I'd be gay. For yourself, I guess. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Yeah, give me a I giant dick funny. arm. Fucked by five dudes before. Giant dick arm for Sean. Oh. And your dick fingers? <laughs> That's your porn star yeah, name right there. <laughs> Old dick fingers. Old dick fingers. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like a 1950s baseball player. <laughs> I feel bad because this isn't like perverted or has anything to do with penis fingers <laughs> <laughs> top oh. three 90s nickelodeon shows that would hold up today oh keenan and kel all of that and um you can't do that on television that was actually technically an 80s show but really you wouldn't do like fucking dare or you know what double dare double dare, double was dare. it's funny i went guts I fucking yeah. loved Guts. I went straight to like cartoons. Yeah, no, I'm thinking of like Like guts once I and, wanted uh, to, I don't. What's even... the one with the temple? Legend of the Hidden Temple. Oh. Yes. Yeah, that was a good one. Those game shows? Yeah, those game those, shows will play. Those, I mean, I'm that's over what here I'm just thinking, thinking cat like, dog. Those like, fucking game shows uh, were uh, cat, I mean, like cat dog. Cat, cat dog would be awesome. Ren and Stimpy would be great. I mean, it's a 90s Nickelodeon show. Could. Oh, no, you couldn't. Maybe have, I, you couldn't mm, have I that on today. Not as not as a kid show. <laughs> but no, cat dog. No. Cat dog. All right, so you want cat dog That's back? That's some weird shit. Or um. Yes. What Top was three. It? What was the other one on? Oh, I loved Rugrats. Rugrats was good. Rugrats Rocco's was modern. Shit. Rocco's oh, modern Rocco's love. Rocco's modern life. Uh, what was the other one? Uh, the uh, real Courage, monsters. Courage the cowardly dog. That mm. was uh Cartoon Cartoon Network. Was it? Um, Doug. Doug so I like good. the adult shows that they made kid shows. Like Guts was like American Gladiators. Yeah. But for kids. Yeah. yeah. Double Dare was fucking. Well, Double Dare was a kid well, I guess show. If you went it was with trivia, right. trivia shows. kid shows. I'm thinking cartoons though, all the way. What was the one with the fucking slime where they had to pick the nose? Double oh. Dare. Was that Double Dare? Yeah. yeah. The physical Double challenge. Dare was shit. The, the physical, shit. The physical challenge. You had to find the red flag and all the. Yep. And all the oatmeal. I love fucking <laughs> Double Dare. They need to bring that shit back. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, bring those shows back. I'm I'm down for Let's that. Let's toughen these fucking kids up. Yeah. Good go luck. Sammits. So the game shows, basically. 
Me personally. I want the cartoons back. I wouldn't mind seeing another season of Salute of, Your Shorts. Ooh, Salute Your Shorts would be good. I don't even know that one. Dude Ranch. Dude, Dude Ranch sucked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it did. Dude Ranch was rough. Out of all of them. Dude Ranch was rough. I want Cat Dog. Okay. Rugrats. Ooh, and it's a toss up though, because I really did. So I loved cartoons. Uh, Real Monsters. I love. Um, I think that could play again. I I think so too. I as far as cartoons, I was Cartoon Network was more of my jam mm -mm. growing up. Dexter's Laboratory, Johnny Bravo. No. Samurai Jack. I didn't much care Potter for Puff Cartoon Girls. Network. Yeah. Power Bonian was my jam. You know. The Disney kids were always the weird kids, and it's still that way, I think. <laughs> How so? Like, the kids that watch, like, the Disney Channel shows always were kind of borderline, had a touch of the tism. <laughs> I don't really remember Disney <laughs> being a big thing. No, but like in the '90s, at least, you know what I mean. No, I feel that like was that got... was the kids that had money had the Disney Channel, so you had to pay for the Disney Channel. Mm, yeah, no, I had Nickelodeon, and I yeah. did not like Cartoon Network. No, yeah, well, I like Cartoon Network because they had all the classics during the day. Yeah, I don't feel like the Disney Channel like got legs until like until Hannah Montana. Yeah, yeah, like early like 2000s. all those shows, like iCarly and mm -hmm. that shit. Yeah, yeah, that was like early 2000s. I mean, it was around because, like, like Britney Spears, Justin Timberlake, Christina Aguilera. They were on Mickey Mouse Club. Mm -hmm. Who's Ken? What the, Ryan Gosling. Ryan was Gosling on Mickey, was on there, was too. there, too. With those fucking Ooh, how about Kids Incorporated? That. Remember that show? Mm -hmm. That was another one of those. It was a Nickelodeon version of, like, the Mickey Mouse Club. Oh. I don't remember that at all. Me either. Yeah, Kids Incorporated. That I don't was, remember the Mickey that was Mouse an older Club because I didn't have the Disney Channel. Kids Incorporated in was, stuff. like... Probably late 80s. Oh, wow. Well. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's age ourselves. Oh, if you could come back as any, if you could die and come back as any inanimate object, what would you be? A dildo. Wow. Who's dildo? I don't know that I would want to be somebody's dildo. Nah, yeah, they're in the freaking shit. Probably get shoved up some hairy dude's Ooh. ass. <laughs> so I said... Who's dildo? Mm. Any object? Any object. Huh. Like, I want a little attention, but not all the attention. Right, and I don't want to last. Something with sustainability. Right, I don't want to be, like, abused. But I want to be used, you know? Yeah, I do. Like an old rocking chair? You know what? Fuck it, an air fryer. I want to come back as an air fryer. Air fryer. That makes, air fryers make everybody happy. Yeah. Right? For now. Mm -hmm. Until the next That's great fine. kitchen adventure comes right. out. It's like the toaster oven. I want to be a toaster oven. That's what they said in the 80s. <laughs> well, I mean, I what don't if, know. They said I want to be a VCR. Oh. Right? An animate object. You know what? I want to come back as a hmm. external hard drive. Huh. Useful, full of memories. Get taken in FBI's things when there's shit on there that shouldn't be on there. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's a tough I one. I know. That is a tough one. <sighs> I don't know. Besides an air fryer. I'm going to stick no, with I'll that. Just, I'll stick with dildo. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. You're getting used and yeah. abused. <laughs> oh. 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 Please be hot. <laughs> <laughs> Brittany mom God vibrator. damn it, fucking Buford. <laughs> Going home with Buford? Gross. All right. And I'm going to dumpster after this. <laughs> yeah. Batteries run out. She's done. Okay. Would you rather have no music for the rest of your life or have all music be sung by your significant other? Uh, yeah, sing to me, mama. <laughs> uh, I'm single, so I. Either way, I'm getting no music. No, but like, okay, <laughs> but if you had a significant other, would you rather they sang? I need music, so yeah. yeah. There's no way you can't go. 
There's no way I could live my life without music. Yeah, I mean, that would suck. It'd be tough. It'd be fucking horrible. <laughs> I know, poor Jeff. That would be... F- <laughs> no, I'm just saying with no music. That'd be oh. fucking horrible. Yeah, no, you can't do it. I have a That'd soundtrack running in my mind at all times. When I'm in the grocery store, I have fucking theme music going in my head. I just sing what's ever on in the grocery store. Hey, and shout out to Burkhouse, because they've been playing some bangers every time I'm at the grocery oh, God, store. Yeah. They got, a good, oh, yeah. they got a good radio station going they're on. Bending, they're fucking, bending they you over with those a, prices. Uh, they're oh, they, playing good music. Yeah, they, they, <laughs> That's where it's coming from. They're, they're, paying for that fucking, they're paying for the Pandora yeah. because of the, <laughs> the prices. <laughs> I'm going through the fucking popcorn aisles, fucking no doubt. I'm like, Jesus Christ, this is a fucking banger in here. <laughs> what the hell, what the was, hell that? was that? Oh, that was oh, Jeff against the microphone. Just, I was like, why did a record stop all I of know. a sudden? <laughs> I don't have that button. No, it's crazy. Music is just one of those things that just... You have it's, to. It's, it's undescribable. Can you describe music? Like if an alien came down and he was like, what's music? And it just. It's a lot of instruments and beats put together to make noise that people enjoy listening to. But to describe <laughs> the way that it makes you feel is, I feel like it's undescribable. It's kind of trying to uh, describe how it feels to be in love. Yeah. Oh, wow. It's, uh, it's undescribable. <laughs> I feel like you guys are getting way deeper. Sean. Than even I am. <laughs> I feel like we like how do you feel eyes. when you listen to music? Happy? I don't know. Well, it depends on the music. Music, music's the. I don't know. Normally, I feel happy, even if I'm pissed off and I'm. But pissed. it's a there's music for any mood. Mm-hmm. I my yeah. buddy fucking broke up his girlfriend in high school, and it was the you know the end of the world. And we must have listened to that, Iman song. Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> Oh, you remember Dude, that song? I loved, I loved I like the, the comeback one. The chick. Yes. She just said he had a small dick basically through the yes. whole song. Yeah. I love that song. <laughs> she just buried his dick the whole song. When that song came out, I was like, yes, bitch. Is there anything else where something just comes on and you're just like, it engages a feeling? No. Music is, it's, yeah. it's. I saw this question today on the internet. I gotta stop I, talking about it. And I'm I wa- gonna go deep right now. I watched. I watched this whole video. I'm about to talk about these like, guys did their top ten stars songs. And patterns. Jesus Christ. They did their top ten songs that they, if it comes on, they listen to it no matter what. Yeah. Do a top three. If a song comes on that you can, you're listening from back to front, no matter what, you're not changing it. You got three. Mm. Not really, because normally I will just listen to what comes on. Yeah, but if there's a song that mood. if there's a song that comes on, and you're like, oh, like when I listen to Vita. Pandora, I I let it ride. Let's go. I will legit. <laughs> me and Frankie used to do this, where we would just put on back in the day when you couldn't like pick a movie, you mm-hmm. would just p- turn on HBO, whatever was on, we would just watch it. Yeah. Like, let's see where this goes. Let's see what this is. So, like, I feel like that's how I, with music, I would just. Okay, if you had to make a mixtape. Oh. It depends on what mixtape I'm making. You're making your ultimate. hip hop mixtape. You're making your ultimate mixtape. Your ultimate mixtape. Any mixtape that I ever made is such a wild mix of music. Yeah, it goes from hip hop to fucking sad girl emo music to yeah like it's just it's so all over the place yeah I don't mine have... is so i've been asked a lot like what do you listen to what what type of music and i just normally say everything because they seriously yeah, do yeah i really don't have a genre where i'm like well, i can't pull myself to Mm, bluegrass i will not listen to bluegrass. oh boy and opera i can't do opera billy strings if you listen to billy strings play some bluegrass dude it's pretty damn impressive well, i will tolerate all good music, anything but... you say yeah. i don't listen to this most of it yeah you don't yeah but good opera you might mm-hmm. i will tolerate all music to an extent wait i don't like but as far as the range, like, what do you, I'll listen to fucking, you know, 
little Uzi Vert. No. Little pump. No. No. <laughs> no, I don't even know what they sing. But no, you I know what I'm saying? I they sing. I don't like, know what I, they try to rap. If someone asks me, I'm like, I don't know. I like fucking. Put it on and I'll tell you if I like it. Basically. I have a bunch of fucking yellow submarines around here. I fucking love the Beatles as a lot of people do. All right. You obviously. Know, you know what music I do not like and will not listen to? Who? House music. Really? Mm. That same beat. A for, Chicago house? Like yeah. Chicago 90s house? No. I'm talking about. Like new house. New techno slash house where it's the same beat, the same sounds for fucking four minutes that turns into something else that's just a little different in pitch, but it's the same beat, same sounds. Okay. I can't do that shit. Like, yeah, you're at a dance club, you're having a good time, but I'm not going to be driving in my car with that shit on because it'll make me want to drive right into a fucking bridge in Buckman. It would drive me nuts. Yeah. Like, if if you wanted to, if if hell for me would be a stuck in traffic listening to house music. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, be, yeah, it depends. Depends on the house music. You know what yeah. hell for me is? I was Sitting driving. between us. That's, uh, yes, it's pretty close. No. I was driving home from work today, going through Lake Geneva. Mm-hmm. You know, Lake Geneva is fun all by itself. Yeah. Uh, but I'm in between two lights, and this car is this guy standing like in the middle of the road, kind of like waving his buddy. Yeah. Which blows my mind because you have a backup cam, dude, which means you can see everybody. But whatever. Yeah. He's helping him back up. And I'm thinking maybe it's his wife or some shit. Like, yeah. Oh, we're struggling here in our $100,000 car. Oh, man. oh boy! And so they're they're backing out, backing out, backing out. And you can ask my mother. I was on the phone with her. Still backing out. My. You think he's still fucking there? Fucking god! So there was a car here. There was their vehicle, and then there was nothing. And they backed out like they were squeezed into the tiniest spot. And it was a vehicle filled with dudes. And I said, Listen I to thought house music. I thought dudes were supposed to be better at driving than women. But apparently, these motherfuckers on, on weren't paper, used to we're parking. Not. We pay way more in insurance premiums than you because we're wild and we're free. These guys weren't. I just watched shit. that too. Mac and Devin go to high school. And we don't know how to back out of parking spaces. That was awful. We're bros, babe. Do you understand that? We pay, at me. we pay an insurance premium because we're that much better than you guys at wrecking cars. Yes. It was the sh- stupidest shit ever. Mom's like, Kayla, talk to me. Stop yelling at me. We that. drive fast. We take chances. But we will not. Ask for directions. As we're going backwards. We take that shit very seriously. It was the stupidest shit ever. Turn the radio down when you're backing up. I don't think I've ever backed up in reverse without one of my bros behind me. You know? Yeah. I was going to say, try saying that with a straight face. <laughs> <laughs> Slow dumb. <laughs> I've literally called my mom to pick me up because I couldn't back out of the stall because one of my bros wasn't behind me. Oh my god. <laughs> Such an idiot. It was just the wildest shit. It was a wagoneer. Brand new wagoneer. Oh shit, Packed. son. One twenty. And it was like they were Dude, the screen on the new wagoneer is legitimately the size of that fucking computer. Right. That was my prop. Like, that is why I was yelling the entire time. You turn the backup camera on that, you can see fucking into the future. Yeah. (laughs) Like, what the fuck? Why? How? Did his his buddy have his bat wig out? Or no? No. Didn't have his nuts out on the camera? (laughs) That would have made me laugh. (laughs) It would have then made sense. (laughs) I've seen your balls more than I'd like to in your own backup camera. Yes. Yep. Yep. Sean was driving us over from the strip club, and I was like... He just he just goes, put it in reverse. Don't back up. And just point at the screen when everybody gets in the car. <laughs> yep. There's Jeff's nuts. Falls right on the backup cam. Yep. And you wonder why it doesn't work anymore because it saw those fucking nuts. It was like nope. And then I told it him. I said, but I had your back though, right? I said I, I guided you out of that stall. Yeah. Remember? Yeah. See, you, you, you had back up. you had the two yellow flags on your nuts. The backup flags like the airport. <laughs> oh my god! Balls, balls. Cheers, everyone. My drink's gone. My second drink is gone. Sean's gonna chuck some water. Jeff, you're getting super nasty. Did it god again? It. 
<laughs> it's either a fart or a record scratch. Can't figure Here, it out. Oh, it's the glass. Yeah, I know. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> You're getting more nasally. I now hear it. Yeah, because I'm getting hammered. Hello. Didn't I you did. discuss That's this on the saying. podcast about how I get all fired from her shaving his bars? Am I the only you one shaved left? Your ball? No, no, I got one too. I got one more. <laughs> what? I had three. This is three shit. Okay. Three. Let me get a Would thing. you rather suck one dick for fifty thousand dollars or Get a thousand dollars for every dick you suck. I'm I'm Wait, never gonna ma- repeat that, please. Fifty thousand for suck one, one cock? dick for fifty thousand, or get a thousand for every dick. Oh, you it's suck. I'm fifty thousand for one because I'm not yeah. gonna suck enough. Yeah, I'm not sucking fi- fifty dicks. <laughs> no. To make- yeah, but you can suck a hundred. <laughs> Why? I'm watching- taking the fifty grand. Yeah. And moving the fuck away so no one knows who the no. fuck I am. No, you need to suck more. No, there's your question. How many would you suck, Jeff? As many as it took. For uh, what? How much do you want? All of it. You, well, I, I mean, is that what you want your new job to be? It's just blowing dudes for a grand a shot? Well. Mm. One. That's Think about tough. your Think jaw. Grand. Think about the back of your throat just getting fucking bruised. He by... just doesn't know how it feels, so he thinks that he could be a master at it. I'd probably be. He's like, good. I would enjoy. I'd probably it. be pretty good at sucking. I enjoy dick, it, and lie. yeah, all the dicks. Just suck good. them all. I'm a nurturer. <laughs> <laughs> but what if I got two it. grand? What if I got two grand for every asshole I fucking puckered? Why would you want to do that? Oh, I'm just saying, I, I'd get to 50 quicker. Yeah, you don't need 25 assholes. You could suck one dick and get 50 grand. Yeah, but you know what? I though? feel like you know this, what? Is, this is what Sean would debate when he's on the streets in Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> like, all right, I can put... How much money is <laughs> you're putting money in the slot machine? He's like, oh, fuck, I gotta suck another dick. No, because I would have the 50. Right. I'd have the 50. He would have sucked But it'd be one. gone. Why it'd would be it be gone? Not if I'm a, not a, you're, you're adding on to it. The question was, would you suck one dick for 50 or get a grand for every dick you suck? Right. Give You'll me never the, get another penny from sucking dick again. It doesn't the, say that. Actually, you know what? Good. I don't plan on <laughs> sucking any suck other anymore. dicks. Sean. I'm sucking your a dick for 50 <laughs> grand. I'm thinking of it like this. You I, suck one I dick. suck one dick and I get fifty thousand dollars and I never have to do it again. Fuck yeah, okay. I'm taking fifty grand. Yeah, I'm not lining up dudes like a circus seal trying to make fucking my <laughs> rent. <laughs> I could have done just one for fifty grand. Okay, yeah, you're now you gotta run out of that. That fifty grand's gonna be gone. No, because I'm gonna put that fifty grand in a money market account, <laughs> and I'll have my retirement right there, baby boy. All right. I feel like you're very upset that nobody wants to suck all the dicks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm trying to convince you guys. <laughs> just, just suck everything. Why won't you guys suck all the dicks? <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to convince. Why? <laughs> what do you mean, why? Well, are we, like, like are we doing this as a team? Are we pooling the money? Is that what's <laughs> going on? I feel like there needs to be more cocksuckers out there. <laughs> are we pooling uh, the money for this one? You can join that squad. Start that movement. All right. Look how disappointed you are. Starting Monday. He's so sad. Like, no. <laughs> that we weren't agreed with him. <laughs> because you guys aren't seeing that as a business decks. opportunity. This is not the right move. <laughs> it's the perfect move for me. It's so. not. It is. I'm just saying, if you're in business, I, but me, I, I'm not in you the... Want constant, <laughs> you I'm want a constant... I'm not in the dick-sucking business. Um, I guess if I was, I'd change my mind, but I'm not. Okay. So one dick, 50 grand. And then I never have to do it again. Oh, God. So that's wonderful. I need that 50 grand. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I only have a thousand. <laughs> you only have a thousand because you only sucked one dick. Yeah, think about that. What if you really do not enjoy sucking that dick? No. For- and you got to do it 
so many more times to make that 50 grand. So you are going to have to go, you're going to have to go suck all those dicks to pay me $50,000. No, I'm not paying you. Oh, this is for, this oh, is, this is for my gambling habits. <laughs> For your Supra. Oh. On the Vegas Strip. It's the Supra. It's the Supra. Yeah. God damn it. You know how much a turbocharger is? <laughs> Jesus Christ, Caleb. Every time we need car parts, Jeff's like, fuck, I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> do, 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 do. Comes, ba- <laughs> comes exactly. back, comes back rubbing his jaw the whole time. It's like, yeah. Oh, this TMJ, it's so bad. So long. So thick. Oh right. boy, brush your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Fire away. I was say you read three. I that's my third one sitting there just waiting. So you, you go ahead, honey. Oh, go ahead. Okay. All right. Would you rather throw up anytime someone says McDonald's, or wear a fedora for the rest of your life? And if anybody asks you about it, you have to say, "I'm a fedora guy." I like the way it looks. I'm puking for the McDonald's. <laughs> what? I wear a fedora just because. And I don't look good in a fedora. I like the way it looks. I, I, I'm too you big would. for I'm too big right for fedora. I'm too big for a fedora, dude. A fat dude wearing a fedora is like, might as well just fucking. Now I want to put a fedora on him. Might as well just fucking tattoo virgin to my fucking forehead, or because. Well, we know you're not. But on next week's episode, Sean wears a fedora. No, you should. <laughs> I got, we should, dude. We you, should get you size. You got. I got a seven and five eighths fucking head, buddy. I don't know what that means. It means you I need, don't even know my head size. You got a little head. He does have a little head. Okay. Perfect for a sweater. Oh, <laughs> it's a sweater. All right, a cock sweater. <laughs> this one's all right. Well, let's not gloss over the fact that you're gonna wear a fedora next week. Not, it's gonna be great. Go ahead and try finding me a fucking fedora. I, I didn't. We didn't say it was gonna fit. <laughs> yeah, well, watch, you you think I can't find you a fedora? Yeah, you could go upstairs and get one of your six. Hell yeah, Too it's shit. not gonna fit. Exactly, it's gonna look like a yarmulke. <laughs> I'm gonna look like fucking Ricky from fucking uh, Not Another Teen Movie. Oh, yeah. Shit. All right, if you can party with one sports team from history, who would it be? Can I get a mascot? <laughs> yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> I don't I don't do sports really. So full disclosure, it's March Madness and Caleb Caleb did a bracket for the first time okay. ever. Yes, and it was through work and I didn't have to put money on it. First place gets steak dinner for two. Second place Gets a hot dog dinner for two. So I'm what really, does the last place get? I'm really hoping for second place. A hot dog dinner for two. <laughs> Real hot dog carton here. Yeah. Uh, so Kayla went through <laughs> and just Googled. She went all 64 teams. She looked every single team up and then picked the I cutest like, mascot. Which mascot I like better. So <laughs> well, cause first team, every team was the Bulldogs at the end. Yes. Pretty much. So... First, he goes, well, usually women do it like based off a hot, the hottest coach. And so I was like, oh, all boy. right. College basketball so coaches like, are not I'm attractive. I'm like four in, and I'm like, oh, shit. Well, there's this ain't gonna work. guys who watch college football or and basketball mm-hmm. religiously. And then March Madness comes around, and their wives, who know nothing about the sport, just pick off the jersey colors or mascots. Mascot or... or Coach hotness. Yeah. There's no hot coaches in college Yeah, she basketball. Googled. She tried. There wasn't. I couldn't even decide which one I would think is more attractive than the other. So I said, fuck it. Mascots. Already lost on my one bracket, though. Yeah, There's, uh, it just came out. <laughs> There's no perfect brackets already. Already? They, that's uh, fucking crazy. Already. I mean, last year it went quick because that 16 seed beating the one seed. But yeah, TCU lost today, so... The horned frogs are out. Oh, she picked the horned frogs. Shit. Damn it. God damn it, Kayla. Shit. Uh, sports team that you would party with, all time sports team. I mean, come on now. I don't even know. 85 Oops. Bears for me. See, I, I, I thought that. But then I remembered about Fred Smoot and his boat trips with the Minnesota Vikings. Remember that back in the day where yeah, but they had all the hookers? Champ- was it? No, that was a championship team. It said any sport, oh, it? any sports team. I think it was any sports team in history. Mm-hmm. Yeah, any sports team. Give me fucking. You're I'm partying with Smoot. Boat, I'm partying with Smoot, oh. banging hookers on a boat. Um, <laughs> well, 
considering I'm married. No, Happily. 85 85 bears would be the obvious oh. for or or the uh ooh the Blackhawks. The second Stanley Cup Blackhawks. I feel like partying with the Stanley Cup is just next level. Yeah. I give me the Blackhawks. I wonder how does it work with other sports? Like you get the cup for what? A day or Yeah, every or? every person on the team gets the cup for a day. How does oh. it work for the does not you just get you it have to parade. buy you have to buy right but they don't get it for like a day at no. least no no it just goes right to goes to the owner huh and then drinking out of it i feel like partying with the stanley cup is next fucking level because you like fill up the top yeah just get drunk i want to make it. a giant margarita out of it Ooh. how about you babe i don't i don't know women's soccer i'm going a rugby team Ooh, the new zealand the New Zealand team's pretty Rugby tough. Rugby fuckers are crazy. Like it's like football, but they're not but they're crazy. It's but they're not pussies. Can you sing the Manchester United <laughs> theme song? No. My what? baby takes, takes the, the morning, morning train. train. <laughs> I'm just saying. I feel like rugby's like pretty time. Good lot. Like actual like. I don't know. I know it's not football at all, but it's like football to me, except minus helmets and all the fucking rules. Like, they just tackle the shit out of each other. Yeah, rugby's a dangerous game. It's fucking intense. It is. I want to party with them. I want to party with Sean because he's a giver. That's what I want to do. That's nice. You get here because I'm a giver shirt at thighbrush.com. Not a sponsor. Thighbrush? Thighbrush. Meaning beard. In case you're wondering. My God. Thigh brush. You're going to need to get one of those if you're sucking all those dicks. Because you're a giver. (laughs) Because you're a giver. A thousand dicks. So many. You guys are going to be in the poorhouse after you blow those 50,000. I still got a job. I never have to suck another dick, so. I'm going to be going strong (laughs) for years to come. (laughs) No pun intended. <laughs> I'm gonna come. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh shit! All right, so Jeff's sucking dicks. That's the best way to end this fucking week. Oh yeah. <laughs> Didn't say to completion. Do they have sweaters? Yes, they do. Woody's for your hoodie. Hoodie for your Woody. Just dick sweaters. Dick sweaters. Cock sweaters. Uh, sounds like a. 1980s wrestler. Somebody at work. Dick goes, sweaters. I thought you guys were talking about sweaters with actual like chickens, uh, uh, like chickens on yeah. them. I was, and she goes, and then I heard you guys talking about how it retracts, and I, she goes, it clicked. You were talking about dicks. <laughs> All right, well, so we uh, we're gonna keep going, I guess, for a minute with uh, <laughs> roosters on him. Apparently, cock He's sweaters. Like, cock sweater. Cock sweaters. What if? We made koozies, like sweater koozies for your drink, and put a rooster on it and put a sweater on the rooster. Good. I'm saying good, and then we'll make a million dollars so I don't have to suck any more dicks. <laughs> <laughs> and thank God we hadn't been sucking With any, that so. being said, <laughs> that brings us to the end of another great episode of The Gentleman's Den. Happy birthday, Kayla. Thank you. Jeff, give her a nice back rub tonight. Just don't touch my butthole. Don't touch her butthole. I won't. Kayla, <laughs> wax his. I will not touch his butthole, I promise. Thank the Lord. <laughs> I'm not retarded, but I like rocks. <laughs> 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 the fuck? <laughs> See you next week, fucks.